For Jan Socrates, a former maths lecturer, these are the numbers that are the measure of her extraordinary success. 25,000 miles around the globe in 259 days with a crew of just one. Uh, well, it's just fantastic. Lots of cheers and hurrahs and <laughs> uh, blowing of trumpets and things. It, it, it was pretty good. It was, it was really fantastic. Jan began her journey in Canada. From there, she travelled towards Argentina, crossing the South Atlantic, passing South Africa and Australia before her final stretch across the North Pacific, back to where she started. I don't know. I, I'm just pleased uh, that I made it this time round. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I, I proud doesn't somehow seem the right word to use for me. Um, I, I'm pleased. I'm just pleased to have done it, to have managed it. So while many of her contemporaries would be considering little more than a comfortable cruise, Jan preferred rather more of a challenge. I, I did wonder whether I was, you know, a little bit crazy at times to think about doing it, but um, I, I just don't like giving up. Being out in the Southern Ocean, deep out, you know, in the middle of a really, you know, thousands of miles from the nearest place, just in the middle of this immense, awe-inspiring ocean. You know, you, you kind of think, you know, how, how privileged can someone be, you know, to, to kind of be out there in the middle of that, um, in, in the wilderness of nature, it's, uh, it's, it's just an amazing, you know, the big rollers, and it's just an amazing feeling to be out there. And... At the age of 70, Jan Socrates now ascends the ranks of the sailing greats. Piers Hopkirk, ITV News.